What is going on YouTube fam? Matt with Outdoor Believing and we are back and at it again. And if you can't tell by the boat behind us, that's right. We are going fishing today. I cannot wait. I'm super pumped. It's December right now. Um, Saginaw River. We've heard a couple good reports coming out of it the last couple days. So we are going to give it a go. We're going to do some vertical jigging. We're going to run up and down river. See if we can find some fish. Um, it's about 40 degrees right now. Tomorrow it's supposed to start dropping off and get a little colder, but we probably got a week or two left getting the boat out. We'll see. I'm going to try and get my boat out probably this upcoming week. So I cannot wait. Like I said, we're going to do some vertical jigging. I'll see you guys on the water. Uh, hopefully we can find some fish and I will keep you guys updated. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we have gotten to our first spot. We are where the Saginaw River splits to the tip of Wasi. And we are just side imaging right now, looking for fish, trying to find some schools. Um, we're looking at this. There's a pretty good right there. A couple fish right in here. And today, I'm fishing with Kyle. Thanks again for having me on the boat, buddy. Hey, you're welcome, man. Awesome. And uh, hopefully, we can find some good fish that wanna bite the jigs that we're putting in front of them. So. Uh, jigs that I'm using, a fire tiger uh, tail with a um, chartreuse and purple head on that one. And then my other go-to, which is kind of a standard out here on Saginaw, is if I don't hook myself, is a chartreuse uh, antifreeze head with a um, blue ice tail, but I have the pink uh, the pink tail on that that's a wind out worm um, the other one's a lunker city finesse fish and they tend to do great out here kyle's gonna try some other colors i believe we're gonna get going we're gonna see if we can catch some fish and hopefully put them in the boat so stay tuned guys super important out here is stinger hooks we love to use them if they're short biting you definitely want one let me get it out here we tend to make our own it's cheaper because we go through quite a few. All right, that's a stinger hook right there. And the way this is set up is you just hook this right on your main hook, pull it tight, it cinches down right there, and it sits right out there at the tail of your worm. And that's exactly what you want because if they're just biting the tails, that's gonna, they're gonna bite this instead, and that's gonna hook them, and you're gonna you're gonna like having that. So we're gonna put those on both of ours. We're gonna start slipping the current and getting into these fish, hopefully. See, this is what you don't want. You don't want one that kinda, see how that doesn't ride straight back? So we're gonna get rid of that one. And that, the ones I made weren't a high enough poundage test. These ones Kyle made are a little better. I'm gonna make some of these and that's exactly what you want right there. Boom. Show the crowd what you're using, Kyle fond of green tails, but we'll try the orange tail today with a, I believe that's a dead end tackle, three eighths, uh, river, river jig. All right. 
Well, that's really all we're doing, guys. We're just dropping it down to the bottom. And we're just bumping it. You know, foot, sometimes less off the bottom, sometimes more. You gotta find that cadence that they really like. Sometimes they like it real slow. Sometimes they like it aggressive. Just bump me. Okay. Yep. Uh. Found it. Got it though. There's a fish. Grab that, reel that in. This is a good fish. Real good fish, I don't know what it is. Oh, Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's a big smolly. Yeah. All right. Well, not exactly what I wanted, especially snagging them. All righty. First fish of the day. Beautiful smallmouth. Check that out, guys. Let's give him a release. There he goes. It's a big one. <laughs> Give that one a go. We spent the next hour to hour and a half working our way methodically downstream using our side imaging and down imaging to try and locate more active fish and better pods of fish. Alrighty, spot number two. Marking some fish. Let's see what size they are. We will see. Yeah, they could just be. Net? Catfish. He did eat it. He did eat it. A bullhead or channel? That's channel. That's not what it is. 800 channel cats. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to see if they're catching. I haven't seen anything yet. Low downstream. There's a fish. He ain't very big. Walleye on the stinger hook, little guy. That there's one doubled up. Here's my keep. Show me what you got, bud. Very big fish. Nice small. There we go. Find a good 11 and a half. He's going back. Oh, I just missed one. Kyle's hooked up. Slowly dragging us upstream. Really? Yeah. It's working. Show me what you got. Little, little guy, probably 11 and a half. Slowly dragging us upstream because there's no work. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Just, just yep, that's fine. Little. Ah. It's all good. 
good, man. This was the first time I've been on a boat that's been boarded by the U.S. Coast Guard. These guys did a phenomenal job. They were very informative. They made sure that everything we needed yeah. was up to date and approved by the U.S. Coast Guard if needed. And they just they answered any questions we had for them. So we really appreciate it. And we just wanted to let them know that we're happy that they're out there making sure that everybody's safe. So good job, boys. On the boat, sure. Well, I would recommend keeping it on the boat. Yeah. You don't have to. Um, next time we board you, if we do board you, just hand this over to us to make it a lot faster. We'll have this to reference off of. That's no problem. But uh, yeah, you are good to go. Very cool. So, thank Thanks. you guys very much. Yeah, no Appreciate problem. it. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Have a safe day. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So the fish start biting a little more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when we board it, so they had to catch them. It's been we're very high Yeah. Yeah. Like, yesterday it was like, oh, they're. Biting. Yeah, the weather got them a little. Yeah, weather, yeah. that yeah. weather changed. Screwed <laughs> with them a little bit. So. Working. There you go. Oh, that one might keep. I might. I might be switching. All right, guys. We just got boated by the U.S. Coast Guard, everything passed with flying colors. Kyle just caught another fish. Hopefully, it's good luck. What's that? You have a GoPro on for that? I have this on. Um, so, hopefully our luck's changing. Hopefully we get some good fish. Another small one. Bunghole. <laughs> right in the bunghole. Kill shot in the bunghole. <laughs> Right. And with all that said, we are back to where we started. Hopefully we can get some fish. <laughs> Who knows? Let's give it a go. We got an hour or two left and uh, we're going to call it. So who knows? <laughs> Ooh, good fish. Real good fish, gal. I don't know what this is. Nice, popped off in the net. Well, I don't know if I got that on camera, or at least the net job, but that's a good fish. I'll show you guys. Thank you, Kyle. Good uh, 19 and a quarter. It's a good fish right there. Beauty. more of those go back to that you better go there's a fish oh. <laughs> yep pulled right out of him huh no I switched it over to fire tiger Something. That's a fish. Oh. Get the net. Yep. That's a good one too. Heck yeah, buddy. That popped off. Hey, good job. Thanks for that. There is another beauty. Give him a quick measure. 
18 inches all day. Beautiful. Oh, snap. That's a bass. I was like, why is my line under the boat? <laughs> no, I was messing with my other rod. Another nice little smallie. That went tore up. There's a fish. Another bass. <laughs> They're smally. They're beautiful this time of year, dude. Super gold. All right, ladies and gents, on that note, we are done. It was a rough day. Um, we ended up getting two more nice walleye right back where we started. Um, we ended up with three keepers and uh, a couple nice smallmouth, but that is about it. And Kyle got a little catfish too, so. Uh, we had a couple species. It was a good day. I had fun take or uh, coming out, Kyle. Thanks for taking me. Yo, no. And uh, I'm gonna take these fish home and clean them up. Maybe do a little uh, catch and cook. Three of them in there. We're gonna end up bleeding those out, getting them nice and clean, and have some good eats. It's not a ton, but it's enough for a meal, at least for me and my wife and my kids. So I'm pumped. Thanks for. Watching. And we're back. Yesterday was a grind. It is the next day. Um, we ended up catching a couple walleye. We found out when we got home we should have made it over to Lake Erie instead. The bite was hot. We were just worried with the wind that we had it was going to be pretty rough out there. Either way, we played it safe. We got a couple fish. It, was, it wasn't a total loss, but uh, I ended up cleaning these up when I got home. And I got a couple here that we are going to cook up. I am in the mood for a little bit of a snack. So... What we have here is the top loins and the bottom loins of the walleye that we caught. Well, one of the walleye that we caught. If you want to see how I um, fillet my fish, throw that in the comments. I'm kind of curious to see if you guys want to see that. And how I zipper the fish. Zippering the fish is essentially separating, well, it would be this side. This side from this side and zippering in half and getting rid of all of the, any of the bones and uh, the bloodline that's in the fish left. So either way, let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see how I fillet a fish. Um, but these are the walleye fillets, like I said, of one fish, two top loins, two bottom loins. We're gonna pan fry these up and let them cool and we are gonna make something that I've always wanted to try and it's called a couple different things. I call it, um, fish dip, but some people call it fish uh, walleye salad. So this is gonna be my version of a walleye dip salad, whatever you wanna call it. Um, all we're gonna do, we've filleted, we've deboned, we've zippered the walleye, and we are actually going to cut these in half for right now, just to make cooking them a little easier. Cut that in half. And then we are just gonna take some um, Everglades cactus dust. The reason I'm using this one today and not the original because it's got a little smoky flavor um, and I really want to get that because if I had a smoker right now I would probably try and smoke this walleye and see if I could get that flavor into the dip a lot more. But I don't have a smoker right now so we are going to use the next best thing and I love this stuff anyway. So we have dried the fish off. As you saw I had had it wrapped in paper towel um, you don't want your fish wet when you're seasoning it um, because your seasoning won't stick as well. So we're going to season these up real nice. We're going to flip them all over. Season this side. And this is going in a dip. It's going to have a lot of stuff mixed in with it. So you can go a little heavy on the seasoning. It's just going to add more flavor to that dip. And you're going to lose some in the pan when you're cooking the fish. All right. 
pat that in, roll this around in the rest. And there we go. Walleye seasoned up, ready to go. We got the cast iron skillet heating up right now. We're gonna throw some avocado oil, a little bit of butter in there, and we're gonna pan fry this, and then we're gonna let it cool. All right, we're gonna just throw a little bit of butter in there, and just a little bit of avocado oil. Take our fish. And we're gonna let that cook and uh, get a little color on each side, probably two to three minutes per side and pull it off and let it cool down. All right, so these look done. We're gonna pull them off and we're gonna let them cool. Here we are, the fish has cooled. I actually threw this in the fridge. You can throw it in the freezer too for a little bit, just keep an eye on it. You just want it to cool down, kind of room temperature, get a little chill to it. Um, so I got the fish here and we're gonna break that up, but also all I've cut up is a couple small um, sweet bell peppers and a little bit of sweet onion. This is probably, I don't know, an eighth of a sweet onion, a decent sized medium one. Um, so it's not a ton, my wife doesn't like onion too much, but I do, so we're gonna add some in. We're gonna throw some mayonnaise in, real mayonnaise, not the, uh, the Miracle Whip, we're throwing mayonnaise. We're gonna do some lemon zest and lemon, um, and then probably add just a little bit more of um, the Everglades cactus dust. So with the fish, I'm just taking a spatula. I'm gonna break it up a little bit. We're not gonna make this small. You wanna keep the chunks pretty big um, because when you're mixing it, it's actually gonna break it down a little bit more. Um, you don't want a mush, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna kind of break this up. Let's give this a try first. I could eat this just like this. That's so good. The cactus dust, so good on walleye. Um, man, I'll probably just eat some of that later. But, uh, anyway. Throw the fish into a bowl. Set this up here. We're going to take the red and yellow bell peppers. We're going to add that in. The sweet onion. And then we're gonna take a zester and the lemon. We're just gonna, don't be shy. Lemon goes great with fish, so. Put that aside, we're gonna use that still. We're gonna take some mayonnaise and we're probably gonna use, I don't know, half a cup. You're kind of eyeballing it to get it to wherever you want. Cut this lemon in half. Squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. And we're just gonna start mixing this up. Like I said, that fish is gonna break down a little bit more, but we want this kind of, this is a, a chunky dip um, that we're just gonna eat on crackers. We're gonna add a little bit of the cactus dust. A little bit more mayonnaise. And actually, some fresh cracked black pepper. All right. 
There we go. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna get some of this, throw it in here. And on a regular day, I'd probably chill this even more and then eat it. Um, and that's probably what I'll do. But for, for right now, put that aside. Let's give this a try. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like uh, a good fish dip, you know. I've had white fish dip before, and that's really good. But I really wanted to try the walleye. I just got some Ritz crackers here. Take one of these. Get a bunch of everything. Look at that. Holy crap. Wow. That is so good. Man. I don't know why I haven't tried this before. I fished for a lot of walleye. And, uh, this is probably going to go to a couple parties. I might even bring this to Christmas party this year. Man. The bell pepper and the onion. With that little bit of crunch. is so good. It's not fishy at all. Walleye is a very mild fish. So it's perfect for this. Leaving the fish chunky like that. Is definitely the way to go. It gives it a uh, good, like, meatiness to it. You know, the seasoning, this stuff, I can't say enough about this. I don't use it a ton, but now I'm probably going to start. Everglades Cactus Dust has that little smoky flavor. Really good. I'm going to probably eat the rest of this, and I'm going to have to make another batch. But, <laughs> I don't know. I appreciate you guys watching. I love this. Hopefully, you guys try this. Hopefully, you like it, too. I appreciate you guys watching. This keeps me doing what I'm doing. Hopefully I can keep doing it for a long, long time. So thank you again. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Man, that's good.